What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Dragon Quest 1. Yeah. Sorry I haven't uh, done any videos in a while. It's just uh, in a while. It's just that uh, I haven't really, I didn't really feel good for the last few days, so yeah. Anyways, got to level 5. Um, I'll show you how I grinded uh, in uh, my second grinding video that I'm going to do for this game. Um, so we're ready to uh, head off and actually like travel places. Yeah. I know I said we'd get to level 4 and then go from there, but I lied. Oh well. Level 4 you learn Hurt, which uh, does anywhere from 3 to 12 damage on... <clears throat> 3, to 12, 3 to 12 damage on one enemy. God, can I talk today? 3 to 12 damage on one enemy. Yes. There. I actually got it out without like... Without losing my voice. It costs two magic points. Heal costs four. I forgot to mention that. In the Super Famicom remake, it only costs three. So, yeah. And heal heals you for, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 10 to 15, I think. Something like that. Either 10 to 15 or 10 to 20. And hurt is actually, uh, it does double the damage that it does in this game in the Super Famicom and the GBC remakes. So, yeah. I want to head over this way. Oh, no enemies. Nice. Yep, you cross this bridge, gotta fight stronger enemies, uh, those that are close to Garenham, so watch out for that. So you're fighting ghosts, magicians, and stuff like that. So if you're not level 4, at least level 4, but I definitely recommend getting level 5 before uh, traveling over here. So. But if you're at level 4, you could probably handle it just to be sure to run from certain enemies. These enemies aren't that difficult, obviously. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save up for the Copper Sword. I'm just going to go straight from the Bamboo Pole to the Copper Sword. I think that'd be the best thing to do. Um, with armor, I think I'm going to keep what I have for now. Uh, if this guy can quit dodging my attacks, that'd be amazing. Thank you. Damn, Ghost is. I think the enemies have uh, built in evasion. So, yeah. Like, the Ghost, I think, has, like, uh, a lot more evasion than most, or something like that. I think I'm going to keep the leather armor and the leather, or the small shield for. Uh, until I get to, like, level 9. Or until I go to the. Well, there's this cave I'm going to go to in the next video that I'm going to show off. So, there's a mage, here's uh, the hurt spell, yeah, you want to use them on these guys because they can do uh, a lot of damage with their own hurt spells, and they can take a lot of damage too. The magician has 12, I think, I think either 12 or 14 hit points maximum, so yeah, you want to watch out for that. Don't be afraid to heal up. Maybe even run from now, I'll be alright. Five, five damage. It's kind of lame. Yeah, your first few fights at level five, level four and five, until you get a stronger weapon at least. What I'm gonna probably do is as soon as I hit 180 gold, I'm probably just gonna get uh, the copper sword. When you get the copper sword, it pretty much does the same amount of damage as a hurt spell would do, so yeah. Especially if you're at level 5 or 6, so, yeah. This is coal, or call, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, you're... This island in the south has a lot of strong enemies that you are not prepared for at level 5, so don't even worry about it. Yeah. Interesting. What is this flute that, people, that he's talking about? Yeah, and uh, this game was really... This game was kind of a. Uh, it sold Nintendo Power, and Nintendo Power sold this game. They kind of helped each other out. So you have references to the characters in the early Nintendo Power series in their earlier volumes. Nestor uh, and Howard is in this too. Yeah. Anyway, someone tells you this, but I'm going to show it off already. So here you get the fairy flute, but you're going to need to fight the golem that that one soldier guy was talking about. Don't know what rheumatism means. No idea what the hell that is. 
And you're gonna want the fairy flute for the golem because the golem is, yeah, golem is disgustingly difficult, very hard to beat, does a lot of damage. Interest, in interesting. Hmm. What's Hawk's nest? Huh. Whatever. Anyways, the stuff they sell here, they sell some good stuff here. You're gonna want to get the full plate. Uh, I'm pro it's gonna be probably gonna be my next upgrade from the uh, um, what do you call it? From the leather armor. Uh, but that really depends on what kind of defense power I can get with the uh, chainmail. Um, I might just get this, the uh, the large shield in uh, what do you call it? In that they sell in Garen. I'm probably gonna get a hand axe too. Hand axe will increase your attack power by 15, which is pretty good. So, any increment like increasing your attack and defense power by like as much as one point makes a world of difference in this game. It's insane how this game does that to you. It's ridiculous. Really? Well, obviously. <laughs> okay. I suppose I should give you a quick rundown of the old English they're using. Uh, thou and thee are references to you. Um, thy is your, like Y-O-U-R, the possessive your that everyone likes to, you know, that everyone likes to use when they really mean Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, -R -E, which is you are. Uh, art is R. Um, hast is has, obviously. And yeah, that's pretty much all I know. Yeah. I like how this game used uh, Old English. It's pretty cool. Awesome. And that's in the South Island, obviously. I have not been to the Southern Island. Cool. Yeah, I see. Yeah, talking to people in this game is actually useful for a change. Yeah. And you can buy wings here, which you, uh, which I got in the Super Famicom version, and they sell them for a little bit more money. Same with the herb, as you can see. Um, yeah. And the wing of the wyvern, what it does is it, uh, returns you to, uh, Tentacle Castle from anywhere in the overworld, so it's pretty nice. Yeah. Alright, let's, uh, keep going here. There's one other place I want to go to. So now I'm going to start running away from enemies because, especially this guy, yeah, Scorpion has a lot of hit points, 20 hit points, to do a lot of damage too. So I'm running low on magic points, so. Ghosts I can still take down in like two turns, that's fine. General rule of thumb in this game is that any battle that's going to last more than two turns usually isn't worth fighting, so yeah. Because the more turns that you take, the more of an opportunity the enemy has of kicking your ass, pretty much. Yeah. Even if the enemy doesn't do that much damage, as you'll see later on. They can use spells on you, they can do other crazy things to you, and so on and so forth. So, yeah. So, if, just rule of thumb, if, you're, if you... Stay in a fight for more than two turns, get the hell out of there. It's not really worth it. Especially when you're level grinding. I mean, there's some ex there's some exceptions, but we'll go over that when it's pertinent. Anyways, this guy is giving us a test. Let's just find the silver harp. And then he'll, reward, he'll give us the staff of rain, which is what we're going to need. Which is one of the uh, three items that we're... That Erdrick, uh instruct us to get. So I'll start the quest to get the Staff of Rain in the next episode of Dragon Quest 1. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to grind a little bit and uh, show off a couple of uh, locations in the next episode. Um, I don't know what kind of level, level I want to get to. Uh, I'm probably going to get to either level 7 or 8. Probably... I really don't know. Probably 8. Yeah, I'm going to get to level 8. And then we'll go from there. Alright. So I'll see you in the Super Famicom version. Peace. What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dragon Quest 1. 
This is the Super Famicom version remake. Yeah. So I got to level 5. Uh, I said I was going to get to level 4 and then continue on in my last video, but I decided to go up one level further. Learned a uh, heal. Well, I learned that level 3, but in level 4 you get a yeah, fireball. And they, uh, because this game uses the uh, Dragon Quest V for the Super Famicom, uh, it uses that engine. It has pretty much the same like organization when it comes to magic and stuff like that. So yeah, Fireball in this game does 20 da uh, anywhere from I think 15 to 20 damage or 10 to 20 damage on an enemy. So it's really useful. I bought a copper sword because I was able to because the enemies give up more money. Um, and yeah, I didn't get any armor because my defense power in this game for some reason it's way better. And Vitality in this game uh, measures how much defense you have. That's your base defense, is your Vitality. So, I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. So, wait. Uh, yeah, it is like that. Okay, cool. Alright. So, we're good to go. Let's, let's get the hell on out of here. And head, to, head to Cole, just like it did in the NES version. Uh, just like the NES version, you would want to get to probably level 4 or 5 before uh, exploring the north part of uh, Alphacar because it's a useful thing. Yeah. It's it's very good to do that because you won't die so much. Yeah, yeah that guy just restored all my magic points. Uh, I didn't have any magic points to restore. I was already at full, but I figured I'd just shut that off. So. You do a lot more damage to enemies in this game, too. They have a lot less defense power. Fights go by faster. Everything just is faster in this game. Uh, certain items cost less money, but all the weapons cost the same, which, to be quite honest, is negligible, because look how much money we're getting from a ghost. You know what I mean? 4 XP and $8, that's, that's the same as a magician in the NES version, so... <laughs> yeah, so they really streamlined this game pretty well. <clears throat> pretty well. They, they pace it a lot better. So this is probably going to be a little bit shorter of a video than the NES version, but... I figure I put the post this one up just to show off the differences in this game and the and the NES version. But what I forgot to mention in the NES version, you cross this bridge and then you're gonna fight like skeletons, scorpions, that kind of stuff. So yeah. For example, because I didn't use any of my spells and stuff, I'll be able to go to the I'll be able to go to this shrine right away. Yeah. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Jesus, that did a ton of damage. Good God. And we're acting before our enemies. It's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Jackie's giving me... 3 XP and 6 dollars. Gold, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm just, I just call it all dollars in this game. In any JRPG. Yeah, different than the NES version, the shrines have shrine music. Really? Okay. Yeah, okay, well, I'm going anyways, buddy. I guess I have to talk to him again in order to accept the quest that he gives you. Cool. Awesome. Well, the plot's been established. Nice. So now we're, we gotta find the silver heart so we can give it to him so he can give us the staff of rain so we can continue on with our quest. Very good. So we can beat the dragon lord. Here's a magic drac. Magic dracky. But as you can see, they don't really do too much damage. A fireball does a lot more damage to you in this game, too. So you gotta be careful of that. There's yeah. a fireball spell from me. Look how much damage it did. 18 damage. So, in this game, you can pretty much one-shot any entry-level enemy with a uh, fireball. You, 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 it's really easy. 
and it's a, little, a lot more effective in this game too. In the other games, it's not as effective. You'll either you'll either produce really low damage, or you won't even land it. In this game, it pretty much lands guaranteed, and you get a decent amount of damage from it. So it's a good improvement, in my opinion. So there's coal, which they call Mera or Myra or whatever. Whatever the hell they're trying to call it. Whose dreams? What? Well, you know what that means? Huh. That means she's gonna be on the prowl, people. What oh, legendary sword? They sell the same uh, they sell the same weapons in this game as they do in the uh NES version, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Awesome! Who's to say you're not young enough? No, I'm just messing with you. No. That's not... Not, not cool, man. So I think you can find the fairy food the same place here as... Yeah, so... Yay! Awesome! And in Zelda fashion, they show the item right above you. <laughs> I have not. Very good. Yeah. I like how they do that. It's funny. <laughs> Open air baths, I don't care. But I do care about these drawers. Yeah, you can look through drawers, just like in any other Dragon Quest game in this uh, remake here. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I like it because you can get stat boosters. Yay! <laughs> Let's see, by Puff Puff you mean... I'm gonna let you all fill in the blank on that one, viewers. Just to test how dirty your minds are. I know what tell, I know what Puff Puff means. It's an erotic massage. But whatever. Okay, cool. And then we'll be able to beat the uh, final boss. Sounds legit, or seems legit, or whatever the meme is. And I completely left town accidentally, that was really bad. <laughs> I was gonna go to the item shop, see what items they have. So, see if they're the same thing here as they have in the any aspect. Yeah. Now to be quite honest, because Fireball does so much damage in this game, I could actually streamline even more and just make the game pace even quicker by going to the South Island to the South Islands now, but I wanna keep the same pace as the NES game just so I can like demonstrate the grinding differences and how much shorter it takes in this game versus the NES version, so well, that sucks. Probably Soft Princess of Tantagul, we have to save her from the creepy guy who thought that she was like falling in love with him or something. I don't know, I'm just talking out my ass at this point. So let's see. Eh, it's all the same stuff. As you can see, the wings have been cut from a. Uh, have been cut from 70 to 24 in the medical or medical herb, which used to be uh, 24. Now it's 10, so that's pretty cool. See how much strength we get from the strength seed. Ooh, by three. That's pretty nice. And different than in Dragon Warrior 3, uh, any stat, ba any stat boosts you get from any stat boosting seeds, um, they'll, like, permanently stick with your player. Like, it, it doesn't, like, sacrifice your growth in your next level up like it did in Dragon Warrior 3. So yeah, whatever you get, you gain from a stat booster, you keep. Yeah. So what I'm probably gonna do in this game, I'm probably gonna get a little bit to a little bit higher level in this version than in the NES version because the place I'm gonna be going to ne in the next video, uh, it's a lot more complex in this version. And you kind of need to be a little bit more level up, so I'm probably gonna do that. Um, in the NES version, I'm gonna go for level eight. This version, I'm probably going to be at level 9, going on to level 10. So, I'll 
I'll see you there. Hope you all enjoyed this. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.